Today I'm going to show you my workflow of color grading CG footage in DaVinci Resolve. Just so you know, this is a lecture from my DaVinci Resolve course, which you can find linked down below. Lastly, before we jump in, is I should say that you should do 90% of your 3D CG look in render and in camera, and then if you're doing some color grading to help add a little bit of contrast, extra saturation, give it a very specific sort of filmic look, then you would do that in the color grade. That being said, let's dive into the lecture now. In this module, we're going to be covering importing CG footage, motion graphics, 3D animation, maybe something you've rendered from Blender, Unreal, Cinema 4D, Maya, whatever else, and you want to do the editing in DaVinci Resolve. So I'm in the media page for once, and typically what I would do is I would import this in the edit page by just clicking and dragging into the correct folders, but there's something you need to know about the media page. If you are using DaVinci for the very first time, the default frame display mode, so if you click on these three dots up here, is going to be set to individual. So if I unselect sequence and select individual, it's going to give me a single image of every single frame in this animation. So if this is going over your head, most CG footage is rendered as an image sequence, as in frames one by one after another, you have this giant folder of giant images, etc., etc. So if I were to make a new bin under my uh, footage folder here and call the CG footage, for example, and I would just drag this in, it's gonna import this individual image as my single thing and I don't want a single clip to be a single image, I want it to be a sequence. So you have to make sure that the frame mode is set to sequence. I know that's a very long-winded way of saying, make sure it's set to image sequence, but now this footage is imported into my project file. On top of that, what I'm gonna do is import some other footage from another project. Let's just take this fun CG clip here from Unreal Engine. And in the media tab, I also have what is this guy? Sure, I have these shots that were imported from another Mass Effect project I did. All these shots were done in CG. I now have this footage. I'm going to go in, I'm gonna control copy this, the name of this folder, select, and then right click on all the footage that I just imported and create new timeline using selected clips, CG footage, new timeline. We have this timeline for our CG footage right here. Now, we have our edit. We have our little timeline here of all these shots. Let's just resize this window so we can see what we're looking at. Now, depending on the way you render this, if you're not doing any fancy color grading effects, you're just rendering in default sRGB, then it should look fine. But I know that I rendered this in a color profile called Aces, and it's basically a super more advanced color grading thing that I have brute force learned because it is, because I'm colorblind, and it's one of those things that has helped me. I'm gonna show you that workflow right now. You can check out the links in the description down below for more in-depth explanations on what Aces is. But. I'm gonna select all of this footage in my color tab. I'm gonna right click and go into add into a new group and we'll call this Aces CG. Now, just like the whole group stuff, we have our groups. We're not gonna use the color space transform. We're gonna use the Aces transform. And I know that these three clips were imported from Unreal Engine or made in Unreal Engine. This clip, however, was made in Cinema 4D, but they both were rendered in Aces CG. So with this in mind, this first node is gonna be Aces CG, and the output is gonna be Aces CG, and nothing's really gonna happen. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the group out. So we're right now in the group pre-clip, we're gonna go to the gr group post-clip, and we're gonna do Aces Transform again, and the input is gonna be Aces CG to, if I hit R for Rec 709, and now this is the actual correct color profile that these footage clips should be. So now if I wanna do any color grading to any of these clips, what I would do is I would go into my individual clip, I would add whatever I wanted to this, maybe add some contrast. My favorite effects for CG footage are going to be my film grain. 
and I will drop that in right there. I will add some halation and I will put this before. Maybe I will add another node by hitting Shift S. So this will be my CC. This will be my halation and I can reset my curves and stuff. And I can just do that in this node over here. And then my film grain, I'm gonna really crank up this shot because this is supposed to look like a, a, a cool looking medical camera. And typically when you're inside the human body, there's not a lot of light. So there's gonna be a lot of noise. So really crank up that grain, just like that. And now I have a cool looking CG clip, just like that. And I would do all of my color grades on a clip by clip basis. Now working in the ACES CG workspace, color space thing. Now I'm gonna hide my gallery really quick and we can see this footage and it looks it looks pretty good and this clip doesn't look that bad. I would go in and maybe right here, I wanna copy those same grades from the previous clip. So I would just go to clips and I would middle mouse button click. So click this button down with the, all the grades that I want and we will take all that stuff and now we have that grade just like that. The biggest thing you need to know about CG footage and color grading in your DaVinci Resolve, whether you're doing Premiere or After Effects, it doesn't matter. If you are trying to color grade footage or CG content and it is not giving you what you want and it, it just doesn't spark the right emotion, it is not because your color grade is bad. It is because your lighting and your design and your composition is probably not doing what it needs to. So before you get to this step, Dive into Unreal, Blender, Maya, Cinema 4D, whatever you're using, fix the clip, fix the lighting, fix the camera animation, make it feel good in camera so that all you're doing in your final render is just adding some spr some sprinkles, some chocolate chips, some, some nice things to your amazing ice cream sundae where you're doing your ice cream and Unreal and Cinema 4D and whatever software you use and then you add the, the extra sundae toppings on top of this in color grading. And sometimes vanilla ice cream is just fine. I know we're getting weird with a little, weird little food analogy, but I hope this little workflow will help you with your CG renders using DaVinci Resolve. Last thing I will say is that if you are at a point where you're still doing pre-production on a CG thing, do a, do a storyboard, do an animatic, do a, some pre-production before you dive in, time out your music, and if you jump back to the previous chapter on the After Effects workflow, it's the same thing. You block out your shots and then you do all the animation in, in the other software. So I know this is a long one, but I hope this helps and we are almost done with the DaVinci course. So go get some coffee, take a break, and we will wrap up in the next chapter. All right, I hope you enjoyed this lecture on CG renders in DaVinci Resolve. If you learned something, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you are interested in learning more about using DaVinci Resolve for professional or even personal work, content creation, or client work, you can find my DaVinci Resolve course linked down below. All that being said, I'll leave you with the final tip. One gram of protein per pound of body weight. You make some Goodbye, my friends. Bye.